So, I do too. I love me some top eight. Woo! So, yeah. Quite a few interesting players starting off with Flushwitch and Rai. Played a couple times last week. There are definitely some interesting stats. So, um, I guess we'll see how this goes. Obviously, for Zetter, fairly interesting matchup. Some similar strength between characters. Indeed, this is a this is kind of one of those super volatile fire matchups where, like, yeah, Zetter kind of has a bit of a hard time with the disjoint, but also he's so fast it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I will say, I think Forsburn exploits Zetter's recovery kind of way harder than a lot of other characters do, though. Just because the spike, like the downer spike, to pull him away from the wall is just disgusting. Yeah, we'll see All right. what we get here. Uh, game one, going to gates. Really good four stage. Yeah, this is a, this is a great four stage. I, I go back and forth on how I feel about it for Zetter. Um, but I think it's very interesting that uh, this is not a starter you see a lot in general. Uh, but I, I feel like the last few times I've commentated uh, a plush witch set, it's it's gone to Gates, if I'm recalling correctly. Yeah, plush definitely likes Gates a lot. I'm I'm not too surprised to see this as a starter here. If anything, I'm more surprised probably wouldn't have banned it, but not the worst yeah. Zetter stage. It, it's... I don't know if it's like, it might be his worst starter, but not It very well bad. could be. It, it just makes you think, what did he end up banning? That? Yeah, that's always the question. But so far, pretty uh, pretty even in percents. Oh no, why did I say anything? Yeah, god, you gotta just stop. When Zetter's on the screen, I can't let you be around Zetter. It's just, it's not I right. <laughs> I'll just, you know what, you, you, I'll just stop talking. There you go. Yeah. Uh, much better. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is so messed though. She's so mean to me. Everybody sees how mean she is to me. I deal with this shit every day. Yeah. And right now, Rai gonna have to deal with a down strong coming from flush. So a little bit of vengeance, but it took almost 100%. So. Yeah, uh, and that's that's the scary part, right? Is Zetterburn's damage output is absolutely nutter butters, and being able to just threaten a kill starting at eighty percent, which is really not hard for him to get you to, is very very scary. Uh, you are always scared of Zetter, whether he's uh, ahead or behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Goes for the down strong, but good oh. tech. No, Bri, why? Bri, I, <laughs> uh, isn't this why, why Rai lost last week too? Yeah, um. Man, that's unfortunate. I believe, I believe we commentated these two last week. It was you, I, I, I think it was you and someone else, but yeah. It, it, yeah, it was, it was me and, um. I mean Rakai, that's right. Mm -hmm. I, I saw these two last week, and that is actually exactly how Rai lost the set. Uh, it's just SD like three times in a row with uh, with the flips. Yeah. It's just really unfortunate. It's a tricky situation, because Zetter recovery's like kind of iffy. Um, you know, those flips are kind of required in some situations, but it is one of the easiest, I feel like it's one of the easiest things to SD with in the whole game. It really can be, just because like sometimes you really gotta do that that pity flip mix up, and it's 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 super easy, like you said, to mess it up and die. But right, ending up taking that first game, getting that fire up strong, super scary stuff, and we're headed to game two. Yeah, not a bad start at all. Plush going to another fan favorite four stage. Not quite, kind of going home, but not quite. It's close. It's close to home. I, uh, I, I like the pick, I just, here's the thing about Zetterburn against all the fire characters, Zetter loves every stage you love, um, so yeah. it's really hard to find that stage that you can just definitively counterpick him on, because like, yeah, you're like, oh, Forceburn loves this stage, he's got a, you're up strong through the plats, and great plat drop aerials, but Zetter really does that too. <laughs> And it's just, it's really hard to deal with sometimes. I think he has one of the best stage spreads in the game. I can imagine, yeah. I don't really know where Zetter's, like, bad, except for maybe Abyss. 
Because like it's I know the same, much just a bit. the same yeah. thing is true with Claren. Like you know, I go to stages where I can use my plot boosts. He can also Zetterman do that. Does. Yeah. Yeah. The the difference is that everyone can take Claren to stages like Frozen or Fire Capital that he really really likes, and Claren does not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if the case is the same for Forest. I'm not super knowledgeable on like Forest aside from his like really good and really bad stages, but I can't imagine it's very different. It's pretty much the same. Zetterburn and Forsburn just, they're, they pretty much just dislike Abyss. But uh, I'd say in this matchup, Abyss is the stage that the Zetters would, would want to ban, just because the extra disjoint is going to help out a lot um, on winning neutral and pushing the Zetter off stage on a place like Abyss. So far, um, Plush has really been running away with it. Oh, predicted a move coming down, but uh, just wasn't quite the right option to read. Up air finally gonna do the purple at 180. Yeah. There we go. Finally getting the kill at 170. They they're doing really well in neutral. They're just both kind of struggling to find something to kill on occasion. Just can't quite uh, read the di or or throw out the the correct option that's gonna land them that kill. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Granted, at this point, Plush is definitely um, in a safer position to play slow and steady if it wants to. Especially with this edge guard right now. 87 on Rai already. Absolutely, and that's that's really good stuff, because uh, if you catch the Zetterburn with a lot of your strongs now, just like that, the clone pop down strong, classic confirmed, gonna kill. Yeah. It's looking much better that game. Uh, we're one one. The first game was close, but that was a, a two star. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we go. Just, just going crazy with the fire character stages now. Absolutely. That see, that's that's the best part about the fire character uh, matchup. See, just, you know what? Let's go to your favorite stage. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? It's it's the other side of the coin, right? Is at least you don't have to worry about stages you want to go to getting banned out. I suppose so. All right. Eating the fireball, it was, uh, it's, it's really good to throw those out on stages like this, because it's going to catch your opponent's plat movement a lot, especially if they're really depending on it. Jesus! Oh, no. Every time I've seen Rai, um, just his his punish with these hit faults is, is very impressive. It's really good, yeah. And that's, that's obviously, like you said earlier, important for Zetter, because if you can get those punishes consistently, you can make your opponent scared really fast. For sure, and I mean we've already got a full, full percent or a full stock lead rather, and it's very quickly about to become like a lapping in percent. Yeah, that's interesting because like I feel like Boris definitely benefits more from flat boosting. So the stage is still really good for Boris, but the combos that Zetter gets off Triplats are some of the deadliest in the game, just like compared to what he can do with and without them. 100%, and that's why you just, it's its always a give and take, because you get the you get the extra, like, burst options and neutral from the air as Force Burn, and uh, some cool follow-ups off the plat boost, but also Zetter is just, just he's always going to be there. It doesn't matter. So far, I got the stock lead once again. Oh, didn't land after the shine like it looked like he wanted to, but finds the rest of this punish anyways. Alright, Plush getting the parries. Just a down strong oh, off that. Oh no. There's been so many parries. Yeah. Got bamboozled. Mm -hmm. I thought the clone was the one coming back to stage. Or the clone was the one coming back to stage, rather. Yeah. Interestingly, Ryan not trying to, to catch Plush in the smoke at all. Yeah, just kinda let it happen. Uh was maybe hoping to like catch a mix up that was coming, but oh man, that's payback for the first uh, the first SD that Rai had. That's just the yeah. the, the that's the belated homie stock. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Getting the uh, the Armada counter pick. I feel like every time I've seen Plush, it is counter picked the same exact way every single set. I can, yeah, I kind of feel that. You definitely see that with a lot of players. I mean, I know I'm not much different. 
For sure. Um, and like, I think Forest can afford to go here in this matchup. Yeah, I, I think this is one of Forceburn's best counter picks in general. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Zetter, another another example of Zetter being really good on this stage too. Yeah, it's just but... like you know, like you said, I don't really know what better options there would be. Like, I think Hideout was a really good first counter pick. Um, probably one of the better ones you have. Yeah, for sure. It, it seemed like uh, oh, bad guy on the uh, back here there. It, it seemed like. Flush is doing really well when it can be below Rai, um, rather than letting Rai have a bunch of platforms to kind of speed around on. So this is uh, this is not the worst pick. Yeah. I, I think this is solid. But pretty much dead even game. Get a little bit of a punish started here. Rai's at 72. Gotta be very scared of these conversions to top platforms. Yeah. Alright, dash attack. And nothing off of that. He's looking for an opening here. He knows if he can get it on fire. Oh, Ugh. the up strong! Yeah. I thought the up strong was coming. I did too. Down strong can potentially catch an extra tech option, but yeah, it's not timed right. Yeah, just a little bit off, but still, um, that was that was really really good. Uh, th this is what I'm talking about. When Ryan does get in, um, he he's so good at pushing the advantage and finding the kills. Uh, I think the the biggest downfall that he's had every time I've seen him is definitely just disadvantage is not the best, uh, especially when it comes to DIing kill moves. Sometimes he'll just randomly die to like back air or something. Yeah, the recoveries are also mixed back, but I can generally agree with that, like... Outside of just general disadvantage stuff. The clone pop! That was so sick! Yeah. This game going, starting to go down to the wire, but the down air is going to seal the deal. It's the first match of the night, we're already going to game five. First match of top eight. We're going to be here least. a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Well, we'll see. Every once in a while, you just kind of start with the with the banger, and then, and then it just goes sick. from there. But we'll see. Jules be able to end it off. That's that's the most recess thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it really is. That's understandable. I um I like it for plush a little more, I think. Um, just because half the time it is FD. Um, it's just gonna really, it's gonna really, really depend on who can play on this platform better. Okay, so far, Plush getting a little bit of a lead here. I'm a liar. Oh, catches in the smoke, just happened to guess right. I, res I respect the uh, the upstrong attempt there. I thought Plush was going to land in the fire, but he had preemptively put just like that. Such a good option. Placing the puddle of fire at the ledge like that is low key very, very broken. Okay. Both even stocks just trying to find a bit of a lead here. Rai pushing it off stage again. Mm -hmm. Going for the shine spike, what a champion. Boy. Oh, I like the, the spike so much, but then just missing the follow-up. I'm not sure if it like wanted the um the front hit. But I'm not sure. I think like it could have the... just gotten more out of the spike in general. Yeah, the, the spike was a great option, but just ended up like messing up the parry punish by by parrying, ironically. <laughs> Um, definitely got to be more careful with that. The weak into the strong. Ugh, gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere Mia just like sh shuddered. <laughs> I've seen some hits from right. Almost the craziest Gatling. <laughs> he really, he wanted that one to go to the moon. <laughs> yeah. Dash dance is a neutral. 
The jab's gonna catch through the clone. Rai is looking really good here, looking like he is in a great spot to win the set. The fire doesn't activate. Oh no. Okay. It just barely made it back into the smoke. That was terrifying. That is terrifying. That's holding on for dear life right now. Oh no, goes for the parry, goes for it all! Mm, no! There it is. No! Hey! I like that! Uh, the DBZ trade to end the set. And of course, Rai comes out on top. Yeah. Had that stock lead. And like, that right. was one of those situations where um, Rai just like had. Um, Pretty much had like the game lead the whole time. Like, you know, they were trading games and uh I was able to hold on the counter pick advantage and whatnot. For sure. Um it's it's uh it, it just like I said, the counter picks in the matchup like that are they they don't matter as much as they do in other matchups. 